comme vous. Good morning. Welcome to task four of the Insurance Apprentice. Good morning. I'd like to introduce my panel for today. On my left hand side for today, I'm being joined by Carol Norta, who is a member of our organizing team. Welcome, Carol. And then our guest for today is Andrew LaRue from Eastern Federal, uh, who are also the sponsors of our task today. The title is, by the way, is Delivering Value by Understanding Our Customer. Good morning, teams. Good morning. Good morning. The background, I think, is in the challenging business environment that we have. It's becoming so much more important to be customer-centric. So your job today is to come up with a winning proposition for the black middle income in South Africa. We want to see an innovative product or innovative solution, together with a channel and a marketing strategy for that segment. We want to see that you get the link between customer centricity and CDP, so you're going to be preparing for a 10-minute presentation to the Mutual and Federal Board. We want to see a one-page marketing brochure from you, so that's one of the things you have to deliver for us. And I really look forward to seeing what you come up with. This is a very real challenge uh, in, in South Africa today. Thank you. Because of the fact that you are required to be innovative, there is no real right or wrong answers. The final thing that I have to attend to is the teams for today. So the teams are Walter, Azar and Matthew in the one team and obviously then in the other team Aaron, Mopedi and Roxanne. I would just like to wish you the best of luck. Prepare well and we are very interested to see what you come up with. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's no doubt that the question that uh, we've put to them today has been the hardest to date. It does mean that they've all been struggling and I think they've been stressed. And, and that changes the group dynamics and it's been interesting to observe that. People have been trying too much to find brand new ideas rather than finding the right connections between the market that we're looking at today. I don't know whether these candidates really realize the extent to which we've not, I believe, taken the black middle mar market Seriously, I think Aaron has done really well today. I've enjoyed his contributions. The reality is that as a, as a black guy, he has the advantage of knowing the market better. He has struck a good balance between listening and pushing his own views. Pedi is, is, is a natural leader and I see her stepping up. What's been hard for her today is that she, I think, has felt more out, out of her depth. She wants to take the step forward because that's what she's used to doing but she doesn't quite have the content to back that up. Roxanne for me has been a little bit in and out, and I think also because she's not been on top of the technical content, it's made it hard for her. And so she sort of comes and goes and hasn't been a, a constant presence as much as I would have expected. It looks to me like in a competition where people want to push themselves and want to see themselves credited with the best ideas, listening is the, the first thing that goes. The current task is also challenging as much as yesterday's task was. We are battling to get our head around what the clients, are, what the judges are looking for. There's no defined leadership role and maybe that could be one of the reasons why we're not finding structure. But what I've noticed from the previous task, the individual who understands the subject more tends to initially um, take the leadership. So today, because it's, the task is really out of our comfort for all three of us, we are all battling to just position ourselves and take that leadership role. I think in my mind, I, I, I think that I, I want to take the leadership role, but I've just been so uh, focused in getting the right model, and that has a little bit frustrated me. So far, I feel like Aaron is starting to come out of his comfort zone. 
Uh, previously, I didn't see him as competition because he was more laid back and he didn't really voice out his opinion. I feel like he's got so many things to say uh, in terms of that, that adds value or not, that's debatable, but he, he, he's coming along quite nicely. I don't think he's competition as well. I never thought he was competition. He has a nice, great personality, but in terms of his, I don't feel that he's got a strong personality. Nah. To tell you the truth, there is no real strategy, but uh, what I'm doing, I'm trying to apply myself and uh, dig deeper to the idea and see as to how we can better uh, find other innovative ways to uh, structure the, the cover. My team members don't really have uh, much to bring to the table. Uh, the whole idea and the design of the product is uh, my brainchild. I would say what Roxanne is good at is uh, just uh, talking and uh, not that she understands what she's talking about uh, all the time and especially in today, today I feel like she's clueless in terms of what to do and uh, she'll pre be presenting exactly what I'll be giving uh, to her. In terms of uh, Mupedi, she's been trying to come up with uh, ideas and uh, most of them uh, didn't uh, work. In the section that Mupedi was talking on, I actually had to give them a rundown on that. I think I've, I still have a chance to uh, win the competition, especially if uh, we win today's task, then I will be very uh, excited and I'll make sure that I just continue being innovative. I think uh, the judges are looking for a team player. They are looking for someone that is able to be uh, to work with different personalities. In all of the teams that I've been uh, working uh, in, I've been able to um, you know maintain uh, peace by applying uh, strategies. Sometimes I'd let them uh, speak until they and they realize that what they're talking about doesn't really um, make uh, sense. In terms of people saying that I'm great at my presentation skills but I'm not adding much in terms of the content of the work, I actually see, see that, uh, that as a compliment and I take it in my stride because it means that the team members are both intimidated of me both in the, in the meeting room as, as well as out. It's been a bit different today where everyone in our team has a difference in opinion so it hasn't been as jointed and consolidated as the other days have been. You know, in terms of my opinion and, and input in today's task, I felt that we need to be punchy and we need to stick to the point. Today we are, we are here to, you know, to just get our, the opportunity across and for the panel to um, either want to invest in the opportunity or want to know more or not. In terms of the pricing and ratings, that's not important for me and for today's task. And I think that that is where the difference in opinions and the, um, the rising of, of differences has come about. Well, my contribution is we've set the structure. I, I like structure, so we've set how we want to go forward. I think everyone has contributed in a little way in today's task. I don't feel anyone is strong or weak. I actually don't feel that everyone is um, on the right track to, to make a call that anyone is the strongest or anyone is the weakest. I feel that everyone is, in terms of this task right now, pretty much on the same point and uh, we're just trying to um, come up with a collaborative a solution and uh, that we can present to the board. So this is then the presentation of task four. We want to sell an insurance product or concept to the um, black and middle class customer earning between 15 and 40,000 Rand. We want the black middle class um, customers to be able, be able to access a product that is affordable, that is reasonable and that, that, and that is easy for them to understand and a product that they can actually trust in. We were looking at providing or setting up community centers whereby facilitators will be available. What will be covering will be covering a uh, high insurance uh, homeowners, the contents and the personal goods. In terms of the car uh, insurance, we will choose if you want to cover for theft or theft of rims and tires, theft of sound, 
and there will also be a limit in terms of the accident uh, payout. How the product will be distributed? We'll use the, uh, the facilities, which will be the centers where we'll be educating the clients. In the centers, what we will do, after the educational process has been done, we'll have something called the insurance activation card. Activation of the uh, insurance product will be done via cell phone. We have taken a very simple approach to pricing. Uh, we looked at the rates and we'll be looking to offer affordable rates. And in terms of marketing, we identified three locations, which are Soweto, Midrand, and Cosmo City. Lastly, we feel that advertising through the SABC channel right now will be a, 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 the right approach in terms of bringing up brand and this particular product. On behalf of the board, thank you for, for covering the bases. Uh, I must say, I, I found it a little bit difficult to follow all the points you were making from the brochure. Uh, that didn't quite flow. I really like the, the way that you've, you've uh, honed in on trust, affordability and, and knowledge. So that tells me that you've really been thinking about this market. I think that you're onto something around the, the choice and flexibility. I like the fact that you, you covered uh, product distribution, marketing and, and, and price. And uh, there's certainly some ideas that we can that we can work with. Great evening from your side. Thanks. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit less impressed than my board member here, um, and I'll pick up on a few things. I, you know, the easy to understand for me came across rather patronising. For me, it sounded like a pretty straightforward short-term product with some confusing distribution involving a localised regional Gauteng shopping centre strategy but a national TV SAB strategy. Illuminating, we really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.